Hi everybody, it's Richard here again and welcome to another video. Now as I film this um, in about two and a half weeks time, it will be the second drop of Record Store Day for 2022. Well actually I don't think it's actually an official second drop, I think it's the dribs and drabs that they weren't able to get out for the first one. Now there is a few that I want, well there's two that I want which I won't say but if I don't get them I don't mind. But I have been extremely lucky with uh, record store days even though it's only really from 2018 that I've been able to go to a store to get the uh, stuff I want. Before that I had to pay uh, dreadful prices on eBay. So what I thought I'd do is I'd take a look and see how many items I've actually bought. Record store items, not necessarily um, on the day but over the years, so I've actually bought some record store day items recently from about 2016. So a lot of this stuff is still available. You think, oh my god, if I don't get it now, I'll never get it, but that's not the case. And so I have actually bought 59 vinyl items and three CDs over the years. Now I thought, right, okay, I'll do my top five. Um, of who um, I bought the most of and I thought well this video will take forever so I'm going to do my top two and it doesn't take a genius to work out who my top two items are. I'll also say that there is one item from a different artist that um, got away and I'm not going to pay the ridiculous price that is on Discogs or eBay for it now but I've just accepted I haven't got it and I'll show that in between number two and number one. Okay, so my number two artist with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven items that I got, and it is Mark Bowen and T Rex. And the first one, not this is actually the last one I bought, but it's 2016. I showed this in a recent video, and this is the Born to Boogie double live album. First um, album is the evening set, and the second album is the afternoon set, exactly the same sets but from the Born to Boogie film and I'm really pleased to get it and it is on coloured vinyl and that was from 2016 2017 and it's a single and again I didn't buy this at the time and it's Honey Don't and this is like a little rock and roll EP and you have Honey Don't Summertime Blues number one Summertime Blues number two and then Honey Don't uh, instrumental so nice to get and I got this I think it was last year so that there is well, four years since it was released I remember getting the CD of this though uh, called Rock and Roll Ensemble I think it was but please to pick the 7 inch final up at uh, 2018 and this one I really wanted but I was slightly disappointed and it's the final cuts and this is a brilliant album but it's on picture disc I just wish it had have been on normal black vinyl even and you get some fantastic versions of the music he was playing with around 1977 especially the version of Write Me A Song on here which became a hit single, well a minor hit single as Sing Me A Song but Write Me A Song is far better Mellow Love, uh, uh, Love Drunk, Hot George, Shy Boy, um, 20th Century Baby all this stuff has been released before and some of it has had overdubs but this is really really good and I think this was a 2006 CD but it came out in 2018 for record store day 2019, 2020 and 2021 is like a trilogy of albums and they're all brilliant the first one to come out was Bump and Grind and this is have working versions of things like The Groover, Jitterbuck Love, Telegram Sam Fast Blues, Easy Action, Metal Guru etc on coloured vinyl I think this one is on uh, blue vinyl and it will take it out. Although all these I've shown on my channel before. And then in 2020 you have Shadowhead which is another one of those working version albums and you have things like Baby Boomerang, Rapids, Midnight, Truck on Tight, Lady Buick McCain etc. Absolutely brilliant. And then 2021 and possibly my favourite of them is Star King. Because this has the working version of Baby Boomerang from 1974, two years after the slider, which is brilliant. I love it. And you have Born to Boogie, again the Groover demo, uh, Blackjack, Children of the Revolution working version, uh, Big Black Cat, 
Christmas Bop Master Version, so another excellent album and on coloured vinyl. This one I think is on uh, red vinyl and the shadow head was purple vinyl. And then 2022 I bought this because it was staring at me and that was the only reason I bought it. And it is the picture disc of the slider which is nice to have being a collector. So those are my Mark Bone and T-Rex record store day purchases. Um, I love them all. I really do. I didn't get them all at the time of release, but as I say, the Born to Boogie one, which I think now features in that 1972 box set, and it's they've got crappy inner sleeves as well, so I prefer to have that double album. Okay, um, the one that got away, um, I would love to have this, but it's around 90 quid for a 7 inch single, and there is no way in hell I'm going to. I uh, put that sort of money up, but it is this. So the artist I have actually collected the most of, and I'm not too sure how many items there is here, but it's David Bowie. So I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 30, 40, 50, 60, 17. You see 19 different pieces of vinyl and starting off at 2012 and I did not get this in 2012 is the Starman picture disc which um, was going for a ridiculous money a few years ago but it has come down in price and you could actually pick this up still three figures but it only starts with a one um, and I saw it copy on eBay but it's still rather expensive 2013 and I had to pay, um, I bought this actually at the time, but from eBay, uh, from the Flippers and it's Drive-In Saturday, which I think is a fantastic looking picture disc. 2014 and there was two uh, releases. In the UK we got Rock and Roll Suicide, but in the US, and I had to import this from the US, and I bought it on record store day, it took a couple of weeks to get, it was 1984 and I was slapped with a big £20 charge on arrival as well but it's worth it because this is the one, uh, this is actually probably the most expensive to buy now. In 2015 there was two releases for record store day and we have changes which actually came out, it should have been the first one because it was the first single on RCA but they did it for Record Store Day in 2015, which is good. And then this one here, which is Kingdom Come, which is not a picture disc, but it has one side by David Bowie doing the Tom Verlaine song, and then another side, Tom Verlaine himself. So it's always nice. And you can pick this up for a tenner, still brand new and sealed. And then in 2016, we have TVC15, which I had to get from eBay as well. So I was paying like double the price, but still I had to get them because I was collecting them. 2017 and two eBay ones, and they were expensive, but they weren't that expensive. And this one is Bo Promo. Now this is like a demo album or a promotional type album with Dana Gillespie, although they've taken the Dana Gillespie songs out. It's just the David Bowie side. I think it originally came out in 71 and it's some of the songs from Hunky Dory. Plus um, It Ain't Easy, plus Bombers, which was originally planned to be in Hunky Dory. And it's a lovely piece and I'm not going to open it because it's very delicate and there's lots of little very th paper thin green coverings and there's one of those um, envelopes which has a string around it that you have to roll around for about an hour to seal the, the envelope but it's a, a beautiful piece and it's only one sided it's a pity they didn't put the Dana Gillespie stuff on as well because I would have liked to have heard it um, this one here is also 2017 and this is a fantastic album and this is Live in 74 Cracked Actor it's almost like um, a David Live album but it's got some really different songs on it like uh, John I'm Only Dancing Again is on this uh, you also get um, It's Gonna Be Me, the one that never actually got on to Young Americans and it's a fantastic live album and it's a really good recording and yeah, you still have to cough up a bit for this. Um, 
it was released on CD after Record Store Day, which I bought. But it's a brilliant uh, triple album. And then in 2018, we have David Bowie now. This was a promo album, it's on white vinyl, and it's tracks from Low and Heroes. I'm not too sure when this exactly came out. I think it was around 1977 at the end of the year. And it does Heroes Low, Heroes Low, Heroes Low in alternate order. And you get really great songs like V2 Schneider, Always Crashing the Same Car, Sons of the Silent Age, Breaking Glass, uh, New Cone is all side one. Side two is Speed of Life, Jewel of Lion, What in the World, Blackout, Weeping Wall and Secret Life of Arabia. So it's nice to hear them all in a different order and it works really well. So I was pleased to get that. This here you can pick up for a very reasonable price as well. It didn't do too well for Record Store Day unfortunately. This one here is another live album and it's Welcome to the Black Crowd. And this is like a, a different version of stage and again this is a 3LP set but you do get some songs that you didn't get on stage for example Rebel Rebels on this and you get Suffragette City and you also get well you do get Alabama song which uh, did feature on the reissues of stage from about 1990s onwards but basically it's the same type of album and it's very good and it's in the order that the concert was played. So you start off with Warzawa and you finish with Rebel Rebel. So yeah, good album. Also in 2018 we have this oddity and it's Let's Dance. And this is the demo version of Let's Dance. And then you also get the uh, live version as well and it's interesting to hear the demo version and they did work on it because it's as a demo there's not much to it it's a bit of a groove but not what ended up as the final mix so I was pleased to get that and from 2019 we have a single a revolutionary song from the album Just a Gigolo I never bought the album this has got David Bowie on backing vocals that's really it and it's actually by the Rebels, so it's not actually really David Bowie, but you do hear his vocals at the end of the song. It's all right, um, but nice to have. Also in 2019, we have the world of David Bowie. Now I do have this album, but with the Ziggy cover. This is why I bought this, and it's on blue vinyl. This was the original cover, which was released around 1970. This is a very good album because um, it features a few songs that weren't either singles or uh, B-sides or on his debut album. For example, Let Me Sleep Beside You first appeared on this, as did In the Heat of the Morning and Karma Man. So, and funny enough, he recorded all those three for Toy, but yeah, very, very good album. One of the first Bowie albums I bought, within the first six or seven anyway, with the Ziggy cover. And also, Picture Disc from 2019 and it's pinups and yeah bought it again you can get this quite cheaply as well then comes 2020 and we have probably one of the best ones and it's changes now boy which is like an acoustic -y type radio performance from the mid 90s and the set is magnificent uh, the man who sold the world aladdin sane white light white heat shopping for girls the old tin machine song Lady Stars, Superman, Repetition, a song I don't really like, but this version is better than the Lodger version. And then Andy Warhol and Quicksand. So an absolutely brilliant album, and I bought this on CD as well. And yet another live album, and it is I'm Only Dancing. From the last part of the 74 tour, it's probably taken in part of 75. And yeah, it's the good thing about this is... I like hearing the introduction of Memory of a Free Festival, even though it is a recording of the album. But I always knew that that opened up the uh, the set whenever he was finishing the tour, and so it's good to hear. The problem I have with this is it's the sound quality is not as good as Cracked Actor, but it's listenable, and you do get some really good songs like. Um, it's going to be me again and somebody up there likes me and can you hear me all from young americans which were yet to be released um you also get um 
foot stomping which he did on the Dick Cavett show which I absolutely love and the riff of that ultimately became fame uh, Knock on Woods there as well, Panic in Detroit and John and Money Dancing again plus Sorrow which he did a couple of times in this tour so it's good to have this, I just wish the sound quality was a little bit better but it's still not bad and then 2021 something happened there was no release, not that I'm aware of anyway for Record Store Day by David Bowie but then in 2022 we have Toy 10 inch and this is uh, taking the toy releases to the limit uh, it's good and it actually fits in the toy box as well so that's where it is stored and you get, you've got Have It or Leaving Me the radio, radio Edit, Shadow Man which is vocal and piano mix Shadow Man is one of his best songs, absolutely brilliant it should have been on the Hunky Dory and then the last one is this boy will hear her, which is the brilliant adventure EP and it's a fantastic version of I Have Not Been To Oxford Town, the alternate single mix, which I think should have been a single. Um, the song itself was never a single, but it, it was crying out to be. I think it was probably the best choice of a single on the outside album, but this mix of it is really, really good, so I'm pleased to get that. So those are my two uh, most collected artists on Record Store Day. Um, yeah, I'm looking forward to the Record Store Day in about two and a half weeks time. But as I say, there's only a couple of items and I'm not going to go anywhere near as mad as I did on the first drop. So anyway, that's me for now. I hope you enjoyed that and I hope to have another video quite soon. All the best now. Bye bye.